do people go to the uh, to the river with containers to draw water for themselves? For for busing, you want to take busing? There is something called apartment. I've never had uh, met, and I've never seen it. Shower. Uh, how does it look like? Shower. I've never used electricity, so I imagine that it is really very hard for me to do that. And in the United States, we had this only one wife. These things are going to affect us. The food we got in the plan was not really good as what we used to be eaten in, uh, <laughs> say, Arkakuba. <laughs> Just like soap, you know, that small one. I don't know if it's soap or bitter real. I just see because people say uh, it's food, you know, I eat. But when I try to test, it's like soap actually. And uh, even now I cannot tell. Yeah? Is that meat? Is that milk? Is that ghee? I cannot tell. Okay. Potatoes. In Africa, I use just to cook it, you know, and you boil it, okay? Oh, yeah. Here, they make it different. Nah, no, yeah, they, they make it in a different way. They call these chips, you know, they slice it, they fry it, and they put it in a bag, okay? It's ready. It's ready cooked, yes. Try it, it's yours. Everything here has belonged to you. We do not throw things away through the window. We here, you press this, push, this goes down, right. Is this a food? These are donuts. Yeah. These are colored sprinkles yeah. that we decorated with. You want to try one? Want to taste it? Thank you. Yeah. It seems like this. Huh? It seems like you're fascinating. Oh. Uh, never. Well, that is Senecos. The Senecos. And how does it connect it with, with the verse of Jesus Christ? I think many of us have so many questions to ask, but I think uh, we have few, few people to answer them. Everything is different. Everything is different. It's kind of irritating because people know you're from Africa. They say, oh, are you from Africa? Yes. Some people, they say, like, do you live in the forest? Nobody's born in the forest. You can't live in the forest. You have to live in a house. In the United States, people are not friendly. You can find somebody walking in the street by himself, you know, don't even talk, you know. You cannot go to the house of somebody whom you don't know, though you are all Americans. You call the police, why this guy come to my house? And I don't know him. But in Sudan, they can ask you, have you got lost? Are you new to this place? They can ask you. You say, I'm new to this place, they can show you where you are. You can even talk with them. It is important we ask them, how do people work in this area? How do people feel when you ask somebody, now can you show me a way? How do you feel, you know? That's difficult, you cannot even ask him, because these are different people. Huh? That's really difficult, I don't know. How are we going to be acquainted with this life? Really? It's a great change, actually. Merchants in Daniel and Panther's neighborhood have filed complaints with the local police in Pittsburgh. They feel intimidated by the boys entering their stores in large numbers. So a meeting was called to advise the boys not to travel in groups. Do you find everything really new and different here? Yes. A lot of um do you have a lot of freedom here that you didn't have? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 What does that mean? Yeah, Sudan. Uh, what does it mean? What does it mean? It's a country where I came from. Oh. <laughs> so it's a country of black people, you know. They look oh. black, all of them. You go there, you're going to find white men. Oh. Huh? Huh? Now I'm getting you. Okay.